Hi, welcome to the tutorial Creating a Resume in Microsoft Word. Today, we are going to learn how to create a resume and a cover letter using the templates in Word. To start, we'll click the round home button in Microsoft Word and select New. Here's the template menu. You can choose Installed Templates or scroll through the template options available to be downloaded from Microsoft Online. You might want to choose resumes and CVs from this list to see resume templates you can download. However, today we are going to click on Installed Templates to view the resume options already available in Word. There are many types of templates available, letters, forms, and other documents as well as resumes. This time we'll choose the template Equity Resume from the list, then we'll click the Create button to create our document. The Equity Resume template now appears on the screen. We begin by entering our information into the spaces provided. Simply click into a section and type in your information. At the top, I'll enter my name and other contact information. We can follow the very same process to enter information into the other sections, objectives, education, experience, and skills. You'll find that you often need more room on the template. Today I want to list another job in the experience section, but there isn't any available space on the template. To add more sections to the template, we'll click on Insert and then choose Quick Parts. Quick Parts contains all the different sections of the template. It even has additional special sections, such as References and Personal History. Just click on the one you need to add it to the template. Since I need to list another job, we're going to click on Experience subsection. Now I have space to enter the information about my second job. If we're not using a section and want to remove it from the template, we can highlight the entire section by clicking our mouse and dragging the cursor across the section. Once it's all highlighted in blue, we just hit the delete button on the keyboard. You can keep adding information to the template until your resume is complete. When you're happy with your resume, click on the round home button to either save or print the resume. As I mentioned before, there are many templates available in Word. You can even use a template to create a cover letter to go with your resume. To do this, we'll choose Equity Letter from the template menu and click the Create button. You'll notice that this letter template includes helpful instructions in the body of the letter. We edit the letter template the same way we edited the resume, by clicking into the sections and typing our information into the spaces provided. When we are happy with our cover letter, we click on the round home button and choose to either save or print the letter. Good luck creating your resume. Be sure to check out some of the helpful books on resume writing available at the library. And if you need help, remember to ask a librarian.